All right there, the last section in the photosynthesis unit is this. What does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of four things? Oxygen, carbon dioxide, carbon, and energy. Every one of those questions can be answer, uh, answered by uh, analyzing this diagram. Let's take the, car, uh, the oxygen first. Oops, I left it off of here uh, when I redid this diagram a little while ago. So let's put uh, oxygen back on and see what does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of oxygen. We're sucking in oxygen. 100% of that oxygen uh, was produced by photosynthesis. My poor diagram is falling apart here. There we go. 100% uh, of the oxygen we're sucking in, you're sucking in, I'm sucking in, was produced by a green thing. And so uh, uh, sometimes students say, uh, when I ask this question, they say, it produces oxygen. Well, it, it sort of produces in one sense, but it was really there all the time. It actually was in this molecule of water. The oxygen we're sucking in was in an oxygen. Well, we can't suck in water. No, no, that's, that's, that's not good. Uh, and so what does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of oxygen? It releases free oxygen. It frees it from the water molecule, releases free oxygen, so we can suck it in as oxygen. And so uh, we can say uh, it uh, releases free oxygen, or it produces free oxygen, it does. It releases free oxygen, oxygen that we can actually breathe. And so that's what it does in terms of oxygen. Now what does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of carbon dioxide? Here's the carbon dioxide. What happens to it? It is used up by photosynthesis. Where does it end up? It ends up as part of the molecules up here. And so the photosynthesis, the uh, reactions of photosynthesis, remove CO2 from the environment, removes it. And uh, so uh, the carbon dioxide uh, uh, concentration in the environment, in the atmosphere, is much less than without all these plants sucking it in, using it up. And it's still very, very, <coughs> excuse me, much less than 1% of our air is carbon dioxide because the plants are using it up. <coughs> excuse me. And uh, what about carbon? Uh, excuse me, I'm going to get a little drink of water here. Pause for uh, station identification. All right. And so, uh, what about carbon? Uh, we mentioned uh, more than once that... Uh, a big uh, part of our body weight is carbon, 18%. Where does all that carbon uh, trace its, uh, uh, can be traced back to what? As we said in an earlier video, it all can be traced back to a molecule of glucose. I have probably 50 more pounds, I haven't done the math on it lately, but you know, 50 or so pounds of carbon in my body, and uh, you have a certain amount of carbon in your body, and uh, it all goes back to a molecule of glucose. But where was it before that? Where was it before that? It was right here, right? Isn't that where it was? It was in a molecule of carbon before it was in a molecule of glucose. And so this actually goes through photosynthesis. This is not a shortcut. Uh, but this process that photosynthesis does, it's called carbon fixation. And uh, it fixes carbon in a molecule of glucose. And so what does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of carbon? It takes useless carbon, useless to most, certainly useless to us. We can't use the carbon and CO2. I mean, carbon dioxide is a waste product. We exhale it. It takes that useless carbon and puts it in a molecule of glucose so it can be the starter molecule uh, for all the macromolecules. And so, carbon fixation, carbon fixation, fixation, and the uh, carbon from CO2 is placed into C6H12O6, that carbon gets transferred there, and what good is that? It's then available for the production of all the macromolecules of life. One more time, as far as the carbon goes, photosynthesis takes this useless carbon and puts it in a molecule of glucose where it's then available for the macromolecules of life as we said in the earlier uh, video it's the what it's the starter molecule for the production of all the rest and so uh, that's uh, that's carbon finally energy and uh, 
You know, uh, nothing moves without energy. We, we learned about heat energy. Now we've learned about some other kinds of energy, including chemical energy. And, uh, and so photosynthesis does something very important in terms of energy. So uh, <clears throat> uh, the sun shines down. Uh, here's got the picture of the sun. What does that do for us? Well, uh, it does a lot of things for us. Uh, you know, if it blinked out all of a sudden, we'd all be a, a chunk of ice here pretty soon thereafter, right? Uh, yeah, uh, we don't all be uh, chunks of ice, so it's nice that the sun is keeping us relatively warm. As I'm making this video, it's keeping me too relatively warm, but that's okay. Uh, better than that than, you know, uh, better than that we all be a chunk of ice, right? And so, but the thing is, is that all we need for our bodies to function is this wonderful sun shining down keeping everything fairly warm, in some cases too warm. Uh, is that all we need is solar energy? That's what's coming down, uh, beaming down is solar energy, solar energy. Well, you know, if that's all we needed, then, uh, you know, at lunchtime, we, you wouldn't have to go to the cafeteria, which is down that way uh, from where I'm standing. Uh, you could uh, go out to your car, which is probably out that way, and uh, you could uh, open the trunk, take out a lawn chair, sit and soak up the sun, put the lawn chair back in your trunk, and go off to your next class, you'd be just fine, right? I don't think so. You'd be pretty hungry. Why is that? Because you've got trillions of cells. Trillions and trillions of cells. Uh, and uh, what's the magic number? 10 trillion? You've got 10 trillion cells, we do, that need more than just being warm. They need chemical energy. They need complex molecules that are taken apart by cellular respiration to release energy to keep our cells going. And so, what, is, what does photosynthesis do here? It takes solar energy and converts it to what? Chemical. And so, uh, photosynthesis converts, converts solar to chemical energy. And where do we need that chemical energy? In our cells uh, for the process called cellular respiration. And so let's uh, recap that real quick. What does photosynthesis do for life on Earth in terms of these four things? Releases free oxygen, removes carbon dioxide from the environment. Uh, photosynthesis does what's called carbon fixation. It takes carbon that's useless to us, puts it in a in CO2, the form of CO2, puts it in a molecule, <coughs> called glucose, which is the starter molecule for all the macromolecules of life. And finally, what does photosynthesis do? Photosynthesis do in terms of energy? Converts solar to chemical energy, uh, making uh, the chemical ava energy available for what? Our cellular respiration, all these uh, trillions of cells. All right, do we need them, our green things out there? I think we do. I think we do. All right, that's it for this one.